Do I go in or is he coming out? He'll sort himself out. Just wait in the car park. <sighs> what the fuck, man? What's going on? I don't know. I mean, who's he hanging around with the school? I, th I thought the school was supposed to take care of stuff like this. They can't control it. Uh, what the fuck are we paying him for? I don't know. Anyway, how long is he going to be off school this time? <sighs> I'm not sure. They said they'll call me with the details this afternoon. What the fuck, man? What are we going to do with him? See if you can get to the bottom of why he did it. Just talk to him. Take him on a walk. A walk? I don't know. Go to that spot we used to go to when he was a kid. With the old ruin up top. It might be nice. I think he'll appreciate you trying. What do I even say to him? Jesus, you're his father. Work it out. Here he comes. See it. What are we doing here? We're going for a walk. Dress like this. So, um, you want to talk about what happened or like why I'm getting phone calls from the school and from your mum and no, I'll leave that alone then. You remember this place, dude? used to come here all the time when you were a kid. Me and your mum with you. There's like a, uh, there's like a ruin up above the ridge line there somewhere. We never got there. God knows we tried, but yeah, we never reached it. One time, so embarrassing. It was starting to get dark. We were stuck out there trying to make this ruin and I didn't think we were going to get back in time, so I made the call to take a shortcut through the scrub. Got us lost in the scrub. But we did make it out. I believe you still walk with your hands like that, too. Don't be embarrassed.
You walk with your hands like that since you were, since you first learned to walk. I remember how proud I was of you. The first day you walked around the block unassisted by yourself, waddling along with your hands like that. I haven't felt that feeling in a while. So what's up with you, man? You used to be such a happy kid. Smiling all the time. Big bloody beautiful eyes. You used to put everyone in a trance with those eyes, man. We would go to the shops. And uh, the shopkeeper would uh, always forget to charge us. You just like, get trapped in your eyes. Just get heaps of free stuff. Shit. Jesus. Not the best shoes for a walk, are they? Well, no, not really. Fucking hell. Dude, I remember when you were born, like, it's like the first time I held you in my arms. Like, you were crying, I was crying, and, and I looked down into your big, beautiful eyes, and, and I said, it's all right. Daddy's here. Daddy's got you. Stop crying and we both fell asleep. <sighs> About a week later, I realized that it was a direct quote from Finding Nemo. Funny how that turned out to be your favorite film growing up. You must have seen that film a thousand times before you could even learn to talk. Except you're always so terrified of that. Brucey the shark scene, making me skip past it all the time. You remember that? Oh, you were so scared of that shark. But you did love that movie. All day long. There we go. So you still tell the stories and stuff, man, yourself? You still writing? Making... What do you mean? Like when you were a kid, man, you used to like fold up bits of paper and make little books. We had hundreds of them. And you're always annoying the piss out of everybody with your detailed little stories. You don't do that anymore? I don't know. What about sport, man? You playing sport? Nah. Yeah, must be pretty good soccer. Remember, we used to go practice at the soccer oval. We used to lay out all the cones and spent most of the time trying to train the laziness out of you, though, I guess. And you were lazy, It'd drag you along. It's probably why you don't remember. You wouldn't be like that anymore, though, would you? Ah, uh, I'm just gonna take this phone call, man. Yeah, all right. See you in a sec. Hey. I know, man. It's fucking wild, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, they there. Put them on. Hey, yeah, I guess it's probably like, I don't know, like a week or something. It'd be fine. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I should probably go, hey. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye. Who's that? Just a mate. Not one of these mates are getting you into trouble at school, is it? Nah. What about um, what about movies, man? You still in the movies? Like, what's your favourite movie these days? Like, like now? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess I haven't really thought about it. No, it's probably a stupid question. Don't worry about. It. Probably new Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man. Holy shit! You still in Spider-Man? Man, you used to be in the Spider-Man. I can't believe you're still in love with Spider-Man. Some of the new movies are good. Hey, tell me, why do they keep remaking the Spider-Man movies? Like, starting again every time? What's that all about? Well, this one's, like, uh, animated. It's... Well, like a cartoon? Yeah, it, it's like... Uh, uh, all, all the different Spider-Man from all the different universes. So, um... They're like slightly different versions of the same character. And then they all like come into the same universe. Oh, so they're not wasting their time then. It all makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Maybe, um, maybe we should go together. You could like walk me through it. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I, uh, could I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Uh, would you, uh, would you ever drink a meat smoothie? A what? A meat smoothie? Well, like a boost juice with meat. Uh, no, it's like a, a mate of mine, he's a bit of a freak, but he had this idea that he'd like cook all his meat. So it's not like raw or anything, but he'd like cook it and then like blend it up into a drink. What the hell? I know. It's Weird you didn't drink that, did you? No, it's not real. It's just like hypothetical. Like, you know, would you drink it? Huh. Well, the answer to the question, there's no freaking way that I would eat or drink or whatever the fuck a meat smoothie. That's just stupid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Mm. What's like the weirdest dream you've ever had? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, don't really dream much. There's one dream though, like, it's probably the only one I've ever had. But like, I'm stuck in a field, right? I, I, I can't see anyone anywhere, like all around me, right? But I, I feel like I need to run to somebody, but I don't know where anyone is, and I don't want to. So I just stay in the same spot. Terrified. It's a stupid guy. I don't know. Dreams. Yeah, I once had this dream where I had this gun that like shot lollies into people's mouths. Um, and the lollies, lollies tasted like the Indiana Jones theme music sounds. What? How do lollies taste like sound? Well, you know how dreams are like kind of flipped? So it was like, and like, you know, shoot at people's mouths and they, oh, oh it's Indiana Jones. Mm. Mm hmm. Uh, if you're an animal, what animal would you be? Hey? Oh, come on, man. It's like, I don't know animals, all right? Like, I don't, I'll say the wrong thing. I don't know enough animals, like, it's just stupid. 
Uh, what I'd say. I'd probably be a monkey. Yeah. Fair enough. Hey, hopefully not like those monkeys I told you about in Thailand, eh? Remember that? No. Nah. <laughs> the little freaks. You know, like savages. At a certain time of the day, for about an hour, like as the sun's going down, they come pouring out like a whole pack, like a pack of street crims. They just come in, steal anything that's not hammered down, reach into your pocket, take your phone, take your wallet. <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh, wow. Look at that view. Man, I freaking cut down that tree. Yeah. That tree used to be huge, dude. All the way to the heavens. Probably thought it was going to hit those power lines or something. Or maybe it died. Or maybe just so people could sit down. But then would you cut a tree down just so people could sit down? That's just stupid. Yeah, look at that, man. Cut it down for sure. Hey, look at this. See these rings? Right? Yeah. And they start from the center all the way around to the outside. They show how old a tree is, right? So we'll probably, you know, start off like this every five years or so. Section there. Tree's probably a couple hundred years old. It's fire. No, nah, they cut it. Look. See? Just means cool. Oh. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's fire. Definitely. Hey. See this little section here? That little bit? Yeah. It's probably how long I was with your mum. She's good. So, um, did you talk about me? Either? Not really. Not anymore. Hey, um, what about job? You, you got a part time job or something? And some money? Yeah, so in our uh, neighborhood, um, where at mum's house, there's like a whole bunch of uh, old people that just live close by, and I just go like knock on the doors and you know see if they need any help with stuff like you know gardening or some of them like you know stuff on the computer like they don't really get. So I just uh, help them work that out, and then yeah, they. Um, Pay me, all right, for that. Computer, man. That's pretty cool. <sighs> Maybe come work for me, dude. We need computer guys. Get some real dollars. That'd be awesome. What do you think of that? Yeah. So I'll go. See if I can make that happen. <sighs> so, um... What about when you finish school, what do you, what do you want to do when you, if they ever let you bloody finish school? What do you want to do with yourself? Um, I'm not like, entire, like I'm sort of uh, like leaving my options open a little bit for, uh, just see what kind of happens. Um, Cause I'm not sort of completely sure um, I mean, I've got a couple ideas and stuff, but like, you know, 
just kind of want to see, uh, you know, where things go and stuff. What the hell do we pay that school for, man? I thought that was supposed to help you out with stuff like that. You're supposed to know what you're doing by now, shouldn't you? How much, uh, how much longer till that uh, balloon or whatever? Well, it's, you know, it's, it's a fair way away, but we'll get there. Like, you know, this hill here, just finish around the corner there. It's just pretty steep, you know, and it's like, the corner's like a kilometre away. Or no, a couple of hundred metres, but like, it'll be right, we'll get there. Come on, mate. I want to get up to that, to that room. Okay, but it's like 40 degrees and we're in the worst possible shoes and not really for going up a steep incline and you didn't even bring any water oh, or, or sunscreen. Like, we're going to burn. Yeah, all right. Done it again, haven't I? I don't even know, man. It wasn't even my idea. I don't want to be here. You don't want to talk to me. So, like... So bloody hard. I mean, I don't know what to do. You don't want to be here, man? Fine. We don't have to be here. I can go home anytime. You just let me know. <sighs> Fucking right, though. I am thirsty. Thirsty, eh? Fuck. Oi! Where are you? Here. Standing there talking to myself like a dickhead all the way down the bloody hill. I thought you were standing right next to me. Hey, yeah, that reminds me, man. Like, remember that park we used to go to? Like, with the trees all around the outside? And I used to, like, leave you there standing there by yourself, all freaking out. And I'd be hiding behind the tree watching you. Freaking so funny. You'd be like, Daddy, Daddy, where are you? <laughs> I like to do these bird calls. And as you come towards the bird sound, I like that behind another tree. Do you remember that shit? It's freaking hilarious watching you freak out. Whoa. Oh, man, check this stuff out. Can't believe these things. Standing up straight like that, side by side. It's like us, man. In the middle of nowhere. Whoa. Woo, that's steep, eh? It's awesome. That was pretty fucked up, you know. Hey? Running off and hiding like that. What was the point of that? What did that accomplish? Making your son think he was going to spend the rest of his life without a father. I was just mucking around, it wasn't, it was, just, it was just a game, it wasn't real. Yeah, but it became real, didn't it? <sighs> it fucking made it real. You, you keep talking about this special little boy you used to love so much, but what does that make me now? Do you still love me now? Yes, of course I do. Do you, do you even know who I am now? Do you even know a single thing about me? What's the name of my best friend, Dad? Take your fucking time. Known him since I was seven. Been to our house about a hundred times. You never, you never say, you never tell me stuff, man. I mean, so it's my fault. It's my fault, is it? I still remember the day that I came running home from school in year three because I got into a class with all my friends. And I was so excited to tell you. And uh, you know what I got? A chuckle. A fucking chuckle. L like it was a joke. Do you, you know, do you know what that does to a kid when, when every time he tries to reach out to you, you're too busy to see it as anything but a bit of bloody amusement? 
every time we'd sit down to talk, you'd get a phone call and have to piss off. And then when even a quarter of your attention became too much to give, you pissed off to bloody fucking Thailand or whatever the fuck. You, ma you made me feel like I was standing in the middle of a huge field with no one in the distance, too scared to run in any direction. Your bad dream has been my entire fucking life. I'll try and... Well, stop! Please! Stop trying to work your way back into my life, alright? And suddenly pretend like you care. I, I, I don't want to be here, and neither do you, so let's just go home, man. I'm so sick of waiting for you to get your head out of your own ass. And even now, with a, with a rope the size of this bloody fucking valley, you still can't pull yourself out of there. You're useless, man. And you, you're fucking pathetic. You're a pathetic loser with a fragile ego, alright? So go back to the bushes and fucking hide, man. I'm done. Probably uh, be a shark, I reckon. Like, uh, I can bruise the shark. Look, matey. I'm so sorry. I bucket shit up. I mean, I really fucked it all up. Just got so caught up my own shit up. Fucked up. 
I lost your mum. I lost you. I lost everything that meant anything in my life. Just poured everything I had into shit. I realise now all of it means nothing. Fucking shit. I'd bloody give anything to go back and make things right. I mean, when you were born, mate, it was like time just stopped. Best thing that ever happened to me, man. I had everything I ever wanted. For years I had it all, all in hand. I would finish work early to spend extra time with you guys. It's pure fucking joy. Every day. And you wouldn't remember, but we should do everything together. Like one person, the three of us, just like one fucking person. And then the pressure started to build. <laughs> it's like to be state rep. You're killing it, dude. It's like to be national rep. That's like my fucking partner. A lot of bullshit, are we? Fucking all just a lot of bullshit. Six hour days turned into 16. Every weekend with the family turned into Nick again. Maybe next weekend turned into once I close on this big fuck fucking deal it all just turned to shit and I uh, turned into a fucking piece of shit start dumping everything on your mum so she couldn't stand the sight of me stop paying attention to everything I don't even start to forget your birthdays. Stop paying attention to anything you love to do. I mean, fuck the sports you actually played, what interests you had. I mean, fuck! It's like you said, I don't even remember the name of your best mate you had all your life. Then when your mum left me, it was. Daryl pat me on the back. You the man, dude. Yeah, you're you're a fucking winner. You can have it all, whatever you want. I'm fucking bought into it. I believed it all. I'm so bloody ashamed of myself, mate. I'm just so bloody ashamed. Shit just... Shit just slipped through my fingers. I can't even see it. It's not a fucking clue. Look, matey. I love you. I really bloody do, I just, I just lost my way, man. Stopped seeing what had any real value. Let my bullshit career and my fucking ego get in the way of being any kind of real dead to you. I can see now. And it really messed you up. I know I ruined your life by not being there for you when you needed me. But look, I'm going to fix it all right. I'm going to be there for you now, mate. 
hundred percent. The fucking promise. Cause you, you really are special to me. I can see now. It's your fucking holy grail, mate. And I know, I know. And I can turn it all around. I want to be there for you again. Please, no, I'll let you down. Your whole life. <laughs> but if you could just forgive me, I promise. I promise I can give you back that. <sighs> I'll spend the rest of my life giving you back the bloody dad you deserve. I'm so fucking scared, Dad. I just like, I'm always trying to like, just do the right thing, but um, I feel like uh, every decision I make probably ends up being the wrong one. I have this feeling like, um, Everything that I love is just like um, ready to disappear. And, and if I fuck up, then it'll happen. And uh, and then you know, no one will be able to help because uh, they're all disappeared. Um, You know, I'm a real lunatic. I feel like the only way I can, like, survive is by being a lunatic. Um, but it just turns the whole world against me, and uh, I just don't know what to do. I, I just wish there was someone who knew what I could do. It's like your dream, you know? It's like when you're standing in the middle of a huge field and, uh, and you don't know where the people are. Um, and, and I'm too scared to run in any direction because I could uh, die out in the middle of some huge field because I ran the wrong way. I just want this feeling to go away. It's all right, mate. Daddy's here. Daddy's got you. Your last four